and it's winter food and it's good for you. I'm going to do a, a slightly more complicated soup but it doesn't have to be. I'm making a barley soup and the only slightly complicated thing about this soup is that last night I roasted the chicken bones and vegetables and made a roasted chicken stock. So to really just push those flavours to the very maximum and I used um, every bit of chicken that I actually had in the freezer um, and I had necks and I had chicken feet and I had all sorts of little bits and pieces of frames. So I've made a beautiful stock but if you don't I really am proud of my uh, chicken stock that you can buy but there's something about making your own because you'll see in the final serving up I'm going to take those pieces of chicken from the stock and put it into the soup. But how does it start? With onions. Always when you're cooking onion, cooking it, being more patient, cooking it a little slowly allows the flavor of the onion because this barley soup, I mean, how old fashioned and wonderful and our barley growers need all our support, don't they? And it's winter food and it's good for you and it's full of flavor, but there is a sweetness that comes from cooking onions and then carrot and you get that sweet nuttiness in the soup. So two onions was about 250 grams, uh, two brown onions in this case, and two carrots, quite finely sliced because I want them to cook a little with the onions uh, and they were about, they happened to be 225 grams. So the onions were started first, now the carrots. I'm going to put a teaspoon, um, in fact, because the chicken stock I made had no salt, I'll put two teaspoons, very scant teaspoons of salt in the bottom now. I cut this carrot quite finely because I want it to cook quite quickly and that's only minutes and it's already yielding a little bit. I want to deglaze at this stage. That's what deglazing is. Now that was only a couple of tablespoons, but it pulls together all those beautiful bits on the bottom of the pan that started to, to really be almost caramelized. Now, barley in. Two liters of chicken stock. It has some fat on the top, but I'm not concerned about that because the fat has come purely um, from the olive oil starting the soup, perhaps just a little bit, and some chicken fat, and fat is flavor. So now I just want this to simmer, but you do not want it to boil. You want it to bubble along. This is a much quicker soup to cook, having already made the stock or using um, a really good quality um, pre-made stock. It's exactly 45 minutes for the barley to be um, cooked, which means it multiplies, but yet not mushy. It's still, it's, let me tell you, It still has some structure. Mm. Now, I've toasted a bit, uh, some good bread, and I have drizzled it with olive oil with a little bit of salt. Um, and at, on the top, I'm going to put what we call a granulata, and that is parsley, lemon zest, and chopped garlic, and that's just Icing on the cake, you could call that. Here we go. I'm not bothering to take the fat off, but you can. And in fact, if you want to do that, there's nothing better than letting it refrigerate. It's even better the next day. So let it refrigerate overnight and the fat will just come off in one piece. Because I took the pieces of chicken from the stock. I'm just going to put them in here, the hot barley 
uh, the hot um, juices will be enough to warm them up. When I make a chicken stock, I don't cook it for very long, under an hour, so the chicken off the bone is still, has still got flavour. The gremolata on top. I could, if I didn't have the gremolata, I would simply take the toast and do big croutons, nothing special, just tear it apart, but make it good bread. Some sourdough bread, um, so there's structure in the bread, even better if it's rye or wholemeal. And uh, without the gremolata, you can imagine this just put in there and a, just a little bit of parsley on top. And there you have a beautiful winter meal.